Hi there and welcome back to a new video. I'm going to be doing a very quick unboxing of my latest kit and then we're going to create with it as well. So I really hope you'll enjoy this video. We're going to jump straight in to Love Letters. That's what this month's kit is. It's a really refreshing theme following Christmas and it's gearing us up to um, Valentine's and celebrating love and friendship. So it's like a hug in a box this month. So I really hope you'll enjoy this. Um, I've made a postcard for our kit subscribers this month. Um, you could send it to somebody, write on it, um, cut it out, do whatever you want with it. We've also got some, a couple of handmade little book page envelopes that were created to for us by um, another working mum with a small business. A treat bag full of goodies, which I won't open right now, so it remains a surprise. Another little treat, an extra treat for our kit subscribers this month. I have made a little clip there for you. That's an extra treat for you. Everyone gets a journal this month. I am really pleased with this find. It's super sweet. It's A6 size or thereabouts uh, with thin pages inside. You could just journal straight in it. You can add your own little spin. I'm going to be using this to document some changes happening in my life and I'm going to be jazzing it up a little bit using the kit. So look out for that in an upcoming video. I also have a blank postcard for you to do what you will. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I've used that recently. You may have seen in my previous video already. We have got this stunning fabric, this cotton fabric. I am absolutely in love with this. I love it so much. I haven't used it yet on anything. Maybe I'll do that today, actually. That's an idea. Um, oh, die cuts. I'll go through those in a second. We have got these super sweet word strip stickers. We have also got these stickers as well, all designed for us exclusively by Mrs. Brimbles. And then let's just delve into the die cuts. Oh, we've also got the um, pattern papers as well. I'll just show you quickly. A5, one-sided, um, lovely quality, perfect for your journals, two of each. And there's, good, there's a lot in your kit this month, so we've just got the four papers this month as I've substituted them with other things. And we've got graph paper there as well, which is really handy. Um, yeah, I've gone a bit crazy with this month's kit. There's quite a lot in it. And if you subscribe, it's just £17 for the box, and that includes your delivery as well. Um, throughout everything, I haven't actually um, increased my prices, so... Um, yeah, you get quite a lot for your kit, for your money, and there's a kit zine, a mini kit zine that comes as well. Just trying to lay these out better so you can see them. Actually, that wasn't the greatest idea. Let's slide them onto here. We've got a postcard, little correspondence note. Uh, a little, I love that typewriter. There's a heart, envelopes, and there's a couple of flowers in there as well. These are super cute. Oh, and little pen as well I love those die cuts really really sweet um, I'm going to show you quickly I created in it um, yesterday um, this journal page by the time this goes up will have gone up this is no that is the right journal I thought I had the wrong journal then it is this page here which I use and I also used my um, download as well if you are a member of my patreon i'll leave the link down below um, every tier gets two downloads a month and i've used it on this page as well as using the kit it all just goes so well together so yeah that's using this month's kit um, this is the postcard which i folded in half used as journaling um, i'll link the video down below if you want to go and have a look but there you can see how I've used the kit and I've used the graph paper there behind as well the die cut stickers loads and loads of bits and pieces right but I'm itching to get creating again let's pop this away I'll leave the link down below for you actually um, if you want to go and check out the kit and if you fancy having a play or is also if you want to go and have a look at my patreon as well um, all the links are down below. We have crafty zooms every month. 
and um, we've got a happy mail swap taking place in feb so go and check that out like i said it's all those bits and pieces in the group are free and patreon starts at just 1.99 a month right i am eager to creating in my journal here i've got it all laid out i'm going to be working in this page i want to use the zine sorry the sketch that's included in the kit zine um i've written it out like that so i've done a scribble i sometimes find that easier looking at the sketch and doing a version of my own and i've taken an envelope that had a new home card in it so i am going to be using this today um i've already decided that I'm going to be attaching this paper on this side it's a little bit on the big side so let's take that down very slightly this is only going to be a really quick page um, I'm excited to create I always get excited to create saying that right I'm going to stick that on there let me know what you've been working in lately um we have a craft zoom happening tomorrow and the topic is 2024 journals what you're journaling in and also to discuss finishing up those december journals i still need to work in mine i can't wait um, i've got quite a few bits and pieces that i want to do and I'm excited to do that. I've had an idea with this, actually. I am thinking, I might want to unstick that, actually, about having something. So I've got quite a few photos. And I was thinking um, about actually having a little slot. So my thought is to slide in some photos so i've just slid in some card there and because I, I don't want to go all the way through so i'm just going to try it really really lightly to go through just the top layer yes that's worked i'm pleased about that and then hopefully this will work yeah that works a treat because i didn't want it sticking over really high so i'm really pleased about that but i want this left open as well so that i can also pop something in that side on the other side so that's what i was planning so on the actual sketch i have an envelope i haven't showed you this properly with a letter sticking out which is that and then we've got pictures on the side which I will also be having this one on here that will be coming out of that side and then a chevron i don't know if i'll include the chevron oh actually i will because i'm going to add it on top which will be the ribbon to pull that out and then title so i might have a title at the top there so yeah i'm pleased with this what i might even do is photos back to back yeah let's do that I might do that because there's I've got a lot of photos I like that idea let's stick these back to back I love including photos in my weekly journal but I don't want the photos to dominate the page it's not a scrapbook um, I feel very different about my journals compared to my scrapbooks yeah I'm happy with that and I am doing just like, I'm not doing about one thing in particular, I'm doing about a whole like week events almost. So it does feel quite different. Actually, I'm going to use the clip from the kit. That works perfectly. I really love that. Excellent. That's that done. And we've also got the little postcard. I might actually pop that like that i think that looks cute i'm thinking i am liking this here i might just lay a few bits and pieces quite like the idea of this on here as well this was the little tag from the paper clip the little planner clip i might just tie this in a bow i think that would look really cute i'm wanting to use the fabric as well i love that fabric 
Right, let's pop that there. I do love this journal, but I'm also really excited to finish it. I've got my weekly journal and my new home journal, which I'm really eager to finish. Although I'll be sad when they're done, but I'm sure you know that feeling once you're coming to an end. It's exciting, but then you're sad that you've finished as well. But there, there's just a satisfying feeling about finishing a journal. I've got a couple of photos there, our new kitchen and aid putting um flat pack together <laughs> that's um story of your lives isn't it when you're moving into a new place let's actually uh yeah i will do it with this and then i'm going to also stick that on the back as well so that i can use the back to journal on on the red because i really like that red that would be really handy that's where the journaling is going to be. And there. And I still need to actually journal in this one about the move. It's very difficult because I'm journaling about the move in my new home journal and it feels quite repetitive. I find that sometimes, this is a question I have for you actually, when you actually, oh, do I do it that way? Flip out. And I could have the title down there. Oh, I quite like that idea. What am I going to do the title with? Yeah, so when you have, like now, I'm doing, I want to include it in here, but I want it in my weekly journal. The same when you go on trips. Do you repeat things and have just a little bit in your weekly journal? Or do you completely leave it out? So if you're, yeah, so for like example, when I have a trip, I have a trip journal. But then I like to include maybe just a tiny snippet in my weekly journal. So I'd love to know, do you ever repeat things in your journals? Right, I've decided. I did use this on my other page, on my other journal. I love our adventures together. I really love that. I turned this into a pocket in my other one. However, this one I am not. And I'm going to use it more as a title so it's going to sit on here and we are loving having new adventures in the new place it's like giving us a whole new life it's um really exciting aid's actually got this friday off um and he's working on my accounts at the moment i've got loads of kit stuff but we really want to get out and explore even if it's just like for a couple of hours we really really want to so this just yeah it gives you a whole new lease of life it's very very exciting um there so i've got a little place for journaling and that can go there like that i think that looks really cute and oh let's do the hearts as well let's do these here that didn't go so well but then that's the joys of journaling like this it doesn't matter does it let's pop that along here looks quite valentinesy this one actually doesn't it do you do anything for valentines um we don't um we kind of do nice things together every day to be honest we've had our coffee together already uh, we go to bed at night the same time every night so um yeah we're a bit i don't know i was gonna say weird like that but i think it's really nice but yeah we don't do valentine's just because we do something nice together pretty much every day like i said even if it's just having a coffee together or like last night we went to bed really early Oh, I like that. And is that going to work? I don't know. I really like that. Um, glue gun is plugged in. I'm going to give that a go. Yeah, so last night we went to bed really early and um, watched... Oh, what's that? Is it For Me Once? Um, we watched that together. So, yeah, we do nice things all together. Oh, uh, um, all the time. And we... Did share half a chocolate orange in bed as well <laughs> with a cup of tea. Right, I can journal on those. Oh, actually, let's see. 
the stickers as well. I'm going to use a couple of the stickers here from the kit. Love you the most. That's definitely going on the kitchen. There you go. Like that. And then that will be on there so that will flick. I'm happy with that. Also want to do something on this page. This page I'm going to do some journaling there. What am I going to do over here? I think I might. I'm doing it. I'm going to tear a page out of the journal and pop that on there and journal on there. I think that will look really nice. The actual colour matches the envelope. Yeah, I'm sorry if you find that sinful. I know I'm going to need to remove the back page as well. Um, I just thought it was a really nice idea. I like this paper. So I'm going to have that on there, like that. And then I'm going to learn my lesson and actually stick this in after I've journaled because I've done it too many times. And then it looks messy. Journaling is going on there. And I am going to embellish this with these stickers. Take these off really carefully. There, that's going to look really pretty. And this side. Sometimes I'm quite heavy handed with things like this, I have to be really careful. See if my hot glue gun is ready. Right, let's see if this works. I want it to stick, but I want to be able to use it still. Let's wait for that to cool. Yeah, that's worked. Can I take it off? Yeah, I'm really pleased with that actually. That's oh no, that hasn't. <laughs> let's try again. Maybe it won't work. Maybe I need to just put it a little bit. I wonder if I put it just a bit higher up. Yeah, I think I might try that. Right. Yeah, that works better. And time for my journaling. I'm nearly done. I keep thinking about the chevron that was on the sketch. And that's what I like about a sketch sometimes. It just gives you an idea. Anyway, I have got... I don't think that's going to fit on there. Um, I'm going to use a new piece here. Um, I'm going to, I've got a chevron stamp here. This is one of my stamps. Um, I will leave the link to it down below. Uh, let's grab a black ink. I think this is going to be my last addition to the page. Let's just do two of those like that. I'll cut those out and then I will show you exactly what I've created and then I'm just going to quickly stick them together and staple them on there. I'm just going to trim that so it looks nice and tidy. I'm so glad I didn't stick that straight in because that's what I usually end up doing. So what I'm going to do I'm going to staple it there and then I've got the little bit that sticks out. I think that will look really cute. Let's try and get that straight. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. Then I'm just going to tape that in place with this clear tape so that you don't see it. I'm really pleased with this page. It's quite simple. Loads of photos. Decent amount of journaling. I can add more journaling in there if I wish as well. Look, but what I like about it is it looks cute that way, but it also looks nice that way as well. So I have done loads of journaling there, or a decent amount anyway. Got a couple of photos. Love you the most. So that was your picture of Aid and the kitchen. I was actually meaning the kitchen, but 
down there anyway and then I love our adventures together even going to Ikea feels like a fun adventure with you everything is fun doing it together and then I've got this here as well which got loads of photos that comes of creating a, a life together that we love that's I've added some of the paper there from the kit as well to add a little bit of journaling from the photos I use um, free prints by the way for my photos and I chose to have them with frames this time and then just a few little bits and pieces that mean something to me um, and again I've journaled on there and added some of the kit stickers as well I love how that works I really love that I'm so happy and then I've got this page then to create next as well which will be some more about our new home so that's it I really hope you've enjoyed this I hope you like the look of the kit I'll leave the link below and I really really appreciate you going to check it out thank you very 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 much I really really appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next video lots of love bye